Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and many of you have seen this before. This is Lab Assistant Drist. He is my black cat. I have several lab assistants. Obviously all of them are not human. They're various little mascot critters. This is what one does to keep their sanity during the long, long, long hours of gamma spectroscopy, as well as my actual job as a computer scientist. Anyhow, I thought I, was, I would tell you a little bit today about radioactive kitty litter. I'll make this really short because you know I tend to drone on forever and ever and ever. I recently bought a bag of the really cheap kitty litter. Not the good stuff, because the good stuff seems pretty fine, but the really cheap, you know, like the $3 a bag stuff. And lo and behold, it has uranium in it. But let, let me show you. It's kind of amusing. Here is the actual results. Notice radiation makes kitty scared. This is, again, lab assistant Drist. He was terrified when I told him the news about the uh, uranium in the kitty litter. He, he, well, he freaked out and he ran away. He's probably hiding, crying somewhere right this moment. I tried to reassure him, explain that I buy him the expensive good stuff, which A, doesn't smell, and B, um, well, it doesn't seem to have uranium in it. But regardless, um, take a look at the graph here, and you can see, and I'll have a link to this in the page. You can actually look at it. This isn't anything to be alarm, uh, alarmed at, by the way. It's actually more of amusing than anything else. Um, you can see all the trappings of uranium. And, and before I explain all the trappings of uranium, let me first show you what uranium looks like. Uh, here we go. This is what uranium looks like in a gamma spectrum. See? Do, 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 do. You have bismuth-214 at about 609 kiloelectron volts. Then you have three lead-214s right here, right here, and right here. I think that's like 240-something off the top of my head, 295 of 350 something it's off the top of my head I haven't actually um well, it should be about right yeah it's about three yeah it's pretty close um I, I I'm I, I'm not looking at one of my references right now to make sure I have that right but I have right uranium pretty well memorized and of course radium 226 is right here here's a little nub from uranium 235 uh, thorium 232 maybe lead 210 or something like that uh, probably indicating the presence of something like thorium or whatnot maybe um, and of course uranium itself, which even though it's off a little bit, should be about 13 keV. So anyway, when you look at a uranium spectrum, you see these, uh, uh, you see these four guys right here, and you see this little guy right here, and this of course is present in all my spectrum, and I'm going to try to clean that up if I can eventually. It's my lead shielding actually. Alright, and just for giggles, if you look back at the kitty litter, you'll see the kitty litter looks about the same. Take, take a look. See? Look at the similarity. Look at the similar. See the similarity? Oh my God! Obviously, gamma spectroscopy is kind of like a fingerprint. Okay, so let's look at the at the kitty litter now. And now, just to uh, to uh, compare this, let's look at rain. Rainwater. You know how I'm always whining about the rainwater. Notice the rainwater looks about the same too, but you might notice a missing peak. In fact, two of them. You don't really see anything here for uranium 235, but look at this. Here are the uh, three lead 214s, but where's the radium? There is no radium because radium decays into radon and radon decays into, well, doesn't decay directly into lead 214. Actually, uh, radium 226 becomes radon 222, becomes polonium 218, becomes lead 214. But the point of the matter is um, if you don't see radium, then it must be something under radium 226 in the decay chain, but above lead 214, which leaves the 3.1 minute polonium 218, which is doubtful considering how short it is, or the 3.8 day radium 220 uh, radon radon 222 and that of course is what this says and that's what's in your rainwater there is by the way occasionally some cesium as I, you know I've found it but it's like microscopic amounts is hard to detect by the way just let make sure you guys are aware other isotopes do look completely different here's cesium 137 notice it doesn't look doesn't look like this at all and no this peak at 662 keV is not this peak at 609. They're quite off from one another. Okay, so getting back to the uh, uh, kitty litter, which I should be just about done with right here. Here is a quick analysis of uh, kitty litter versus background. The yellow is the background of my lab. Look at the background. And um, the kitty litter is the uh, teal color. See, so it's not really epically radioactive. You know, your cat won't turn green. It won't well, it, my cat can't reproduce, but, well, that's because we did something horrible to him when he was a child. You know, we did that thing you do to cats to make so they don't make more cats. And until he figures out how to split via mitosis, um, that should probably hold. So, anyhow, 
one last time. Where is it? Here it is. Nope. There it is. As you can see, radiation makes Kitty scared. Poor Kitty. Kitty litter. One of the other bazillions, trillions, infinite numbers of things in your everyday life that are radioactive. Isn't that just amusing? This is Tom from anti-proton.com, and bye-bye. Uh,